is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Galaxy Note 7. Now, this is a really important video just because this will make your Note 7 much faster than it did when it first came out of the box. So the first thing we're going to do is an old trick, and that is just simply speed up the animation. So we're going to go into general management. And depending on your carrier, things might look different, but this is where you want to end up. You want to go to Software Info, and then you want to hit Build Number repeatedly. And once that is done, you go back twice, and you will have Developer Options. And in Developer Options, you can actually make everything run a little bit faster than it would normally. So the first section is going to be from window animation scale. So we're going to cut that to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So basically what you want to do is go into the drawing category and change each of these things that say animation and scale to 0 0.5. So window, transition, and animator duration. Change all of this to 0 0.5 and you'll notice your taps and movement starts to move much quicker than it did before so it just moves a lot quicker second thing you're going to do is uninstall all of the built-in bloatware now I have an international version here but if you have a carrier version this also includes your carrier bloatware so your Verizon your Sprint your T-Mobile your AT&T uh, all you're gonna do is hit that dot and then hit edit so, for instance, I don't care for the Microsoft uh, Skype app, so I'm going to disable that. And if you're wondering, well, it's disabling, it's not uninstalling, it still makes it so it doesn't use up your battery or use up your RAM. This is why it's important to disable or uninstall any app that you don't use. Uh, I also don't care for OneNote, so I'm going to get rid of that one as well. So that one's going to be gone. This also applies if you uh, have an unnecessary Google Apps you don't want to have, although I do always caution people with this that you don't want to uninstall the Google App itself or the uh, voice uh, mic because those two control the ability to voice to text. So you don't want to delete voice search or Google App on your phone. Uh, I will also get rid of PenUp. That's like kind of like an Instagram for the S Pen uh, feature, so I don't care for that. And I don't care for WhatsApp either, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Everything else uh, I'll have for now, or maybe I'll get rid of later. And then you just hit Done. And then you're going to hit these three dots again and hit A to Z, so it's all in alphabetic order and nice and neat. The third step is going to be to make sure apps don't run in the background and constantly slow down your phone. So this is going to be under device maintenance if you do have that. Uh, again, not every carrier will have this, so just know that you cannot do this step if you don't have it, of course. And from here, we're going to go to battery. And under battery, this is what you're going to do. You're going to make sure every app that you do not need to run in the background has app power monitor on it. So that way, the app will not run in the background. So I'll do that for pretty much almost every app that I have on this phone because I don't need apps to run in the background when I'm not using them. A good example that you would not want to use this for is something like Spotify or something uh, like Pandora where you want them running in the background while you're doing something else. But everything else you want to have power save on so that it won't run in the background. Alright guys, hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. Make sure you give it a like, thumbs up down below, and make sure to check out our other popular video, and that is how to save battery life on your Galaxy Note 7. These tricks will increase your battery life by about 20%. Alright guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.